The General Dynamics F-16XL was developed from the F-16 Fighting Falcon. It was developed as a technology demonstrator, and the design featured a cranked aero delta wing. The F-16XL was entered in the U.S. Air Force's Enhanced Tactical Fighter Competition, but ultimately lost to the F-15E Strike Eagle. In 1977, General Dynamics started the F-16 SCAMP program. SCAMP was an abbreviation for Supersonic Cruise and Maneuver Prototype. The F-16 SCAMP was later renamed the F-16XL. SCAMP was planned as a quick project to demonstrate the applicability of supersonic transport technologies to military aircraft. In cooperation with NASA, General Dynamics developed the Model 400, which had all moving wing tips and an all moving vertical tail. The moving surfaces were later abandoned, since they did not provide enough control at low speeds, and prevented using wingtip mounted missiles. The main wing of the Model 400 enabled high angle of attack maneuverability negative stability for improved subsonic lift and reduced supersonic drag. The wing would also incorporate a big fuel tank, leading to a dramatically increased range. The wing and rear horizontal control area of the F-16XL was 120% larger than of the original F-16. The fuselage was lengthened by 56 inches, and the ventral fins were removed. The XL handled much more smoothly at high speeds and low altitudes, and the fuel capacity was increased by 82%. Also, the XL could carry twice the ordnance of the original F-16. In 1980, the U.S. Air Force signed on as a partner and provided the third and fifth production F-16 airframes for conversion to F-16 XL prototypes. In 1981, the Air Force announced the Enhanced Tactical Fighter Program. The purpose was to find a replacement for the F-111 Aardvark. The replacement needed to be capable to perform deep interdiction missions, with no fighter escort or jamming support. General Dynamics submitted the F-16XL in the competition. However in February 1984, the F-16XL lost the competition to the F-15E Strike Eagle. There were several reasons. The F-16XL would have required much more time money and effort to put into full production since it had major structural differences from the original F-16. Also, the XL only had one engine, which provided less thrust than the F-15E and less capability to carry weapons. Also, it had no engine redundancy. The two F-16XLs were placed in storage, but in 1988 they were turned over to NASA for research purposes. Both F-16XLs were retired in 2009.